Okay, we're live. Gun Talk Nation, welcome. It's a live broadcast, and we're going to do a range report. But first, I thought we might want to address <laughs> some of the mean comments that our viewers had to say on our last live first, broadcast. First of all, I'm cool with mean comments. Oh, I yeah. I like them. It's fun. <laughs> But, you but know, sometimes they're more constructive than others. Right. And so we did a broadcast on Monday. Live. Um, it's showing live. off the new SIG P365. Everybody's pretty excited about this gun. It's got, it's kind of like a lot, a nice size, a lot of capacity, a lot of, a lot of nice stuff about this gun. Right. So we just wanted to give you guys first look at it. We just literally took it out of the box. First impressions. Now we've shot it, and we're going to show you some of that. We're going to talk about it. But, but <laughs> yeah, I, I love the comments because, um, you know, both on YouTube They're, and on Facebook. And they range from, okay, that's a that's a valid, you know, they're just jumping in late. They didn't hear some of our comments to absolutely ridiculous. Well, you know, looks like a nice pistol. Can't wait to try it out. Sounds reasonable. Then I like the, if SIG was smart. They would offer the option to buy. Well, they probably looked at all the options, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. They probably Maybe, had, you like, think? teams of people. Um, and, you know, you know, everybody wants to see it compared to other guns. Uh, we're going to yep. do that a little bit here. We have a we have a shield and we have an XDS, so we're going to show that off. I don't have a Glock 43 in the room today, no. but um, I'm sure one of your buddies does. One the, the comment, though, that we kept getting is the editing is bad. Now, I don't know if you're aware of how live video works. Um, I know there's not a lot of editing that goes on. Yeah, we have, we have two cameras. We got that camera. <laughs> and we, we got that, we got camera. that one. We got this camera. Camera one so, or camera two. Camera one. So we are, we are live. It's really live. Really. Like, when we screw up or curse, it's going to Yeah, gonna it's go going to be there. live. We it's, don't have it's out like, there in the fancy buttons interwebs. to make so, that stop. All right, what are a few, few more good ones? Oh, uh, let's see, you know, external safety, question mark. No, there's no external safety on this. Personally, I like not having a thumb safety. Yep. Um, I trust myself, finger off the trigger, use a good holster, train appropriately, no problem. This is my safety. Um, that, that, that's <laughs> right. Um, so it's not exactly a single stack. It's not exactly a double stack. It's kind of a, a half stack on this P365. Yeah. So I guess let's just jump into this on the on this gun. Um, we got to shoot it on uh, Wednesday, Thursday. We're out the range doing some filming, yep. doing some testing, and of course we wanted to shoot this gun. What were your initial impressions? I mean, you pick up the gun, you know the feel of it, you know the feel of a, a 320, mm -hmm. and you even made the comment on this feels like it, this kind of has the aesthetics of a. P320. Yeah, and we did some video kind of comparing it to the P320. That'll be out shortly, I'm sure. But the it, it looks like a baby 320. Um, obviously, they're going to take some some features from that, and some designs from that. Um, it feels good in the hand. It doesn't really feel that small in the hand to me. I don't right. have huge hands, but I will say, nine millimeter, not the most powerful yeah. round in in the world, but. I found you really got to hold on to it, and we talked about that. Small guns, you have to hold on to them. You got to mm -hmm. give them some resistance because the springs are short. Everything is just tighter. Yes. I don't know if that's the right Absolutely. way to say that, but it's a little bit easier to induce a malfunction on a small gun. Now, that being said, I didn't have a single malfunction. I, mean, I didn't shoot a 1,000 rounds, but we didn't have any malfunctions on this gun. No. But I will say, you know when you've shot it. Uh, even though it's a 9mm, <laughs> it's a small gun. It's not the same as shooting some big full-size gun or something with a comp on it. So you got to hold on to it and grip it. Um, but it was still comfortable to shoot. It wasn't beating me up or anything like that. Right. No, so, I, and it doesn't beat you up, but you, you've got to hold on to it. It's a small gun. Right. I mean, that's what you're going to get. It's a small gun, um, but it, it's it's the reason why you know, people want to go back and forth and back and forth about what to carry. Right. Um, it's always that compromise of what you're comfortable carrying on your person and uh, what's going to give you the ammo? This gun does kind of give you. A it gives you a couple more than a lot of those micro compacts might give you. Um, what I like about it is that you're shrinking the size. You might give up a few rounds, but you're concealing that firearm, and and that's what's really big. Um, we again, had a if you're just tuning in, this yep. is live. We're talking about the P365. We're doing a range report, so uh, we really do like it. I. 
I didn't. Ha- we didn't induce a malfunction. I mean, it, we you ran it quick. We both ran it really quick, and I mean. My gosh. I'm going to try to – I'm, not, like I'm not just surfing the internet. I'm actually he trying to he's, pull up He's video. actually on his Facebook page just cruising. Just so. cruising, so. see what's what there. Are, what are people saying about the P365? If you want to well, know, we're, it's right one here. One of the questions we had on the previous video was, uh, does it have uh, an extended magazine? So this is the Flush Fit, okay? Yep. Flush Fit. I do like that they have the cutouts. If you've ever had any kind of – malfunction or double feed this helps to be able to pull the magazine out of the gun if you have to do some sort of uh, malfunction drill that's not a dig on the gun that like oh we, they expect it to malfunction no ammo can be a problem dirt could be a problem a lot your your shooting technique can be a problem a right. lot of things can induce a malfunction so this is a 10 round flush fit they do have a 10 round with the pinky extension yep and it's amazing how that can just help you a little bit in getting a better grip on the gun and then they do have the extended mag. This is a 12-round mag. And even with 12 round, 12 plus 1, 13 rounds in this little gun, that's really impressive. No. Um, it's still not a huge no, it's not, long it's, magazine. Yeah. Um, we've actually got some really good uh, comments coming in right now. We've got, uh, you know, uh, Wolfman actually asked, uh, how's the recoil on small handguns? I think kind of Ryan kind of addressed that. But... John makes a good point, and he says uh, it's really different per gun, and the big point is to go out and shoot each of these guns. Because, like, this shield, this 2.0 shield is going to run a little bit different than the Micro Compact P365. Right. So you got to go, if you're looking to buy either of these, don't take our word for it. I mean, you can listen to what we have to say, but the real thing is you need to go out and shoot them. Sure, yeah. And, and, you know, we always say guns are preferences. It's not like... um, Really, there aren't many bad guns out there. Now, right. I know, you know, people may go, oh, my gosh, yes, there, there are. I don't know, you know, but it's a preference thing as far as what you like to shoot. So let's just show we, a couple of these, okay? We, we actually had another question on someone wants to know what ammo we shot through these. And actually, we shot through the 365. We shot a new ammo. Oh, we did uh, shoot. We, we shot new a ammo. A couple different things. Yeah. We shot some just mixed bag stuff that yeah. was... Really mixed bag, like, it, it, like like you grab a handful different of different flavors and colors <laughs> yeah. and all kinds of stuff, but it was all nine, yeah. and, it, and it ran all of that random right. stuff. Yeah. Um, but the new stuff, was the new stuff, pretty cool. is actually from Heavy Shot. Yep. Heavy Shot, brand new. Um, people know them for the non-toxic waterfowl loads yep. and shotgun stuff, but they're actually but loading something called Heavy Duty now. Yep. Frangible, frangible, non-toxic. Yep, frangible, non-toxic. This is not defensive, uh, as far as I can tell. Right. It looks to be range ammo, yep. but oh. good for shooting on steel. And it's you nine shot millimeter. It close to steel, closer than you would Freaky. really feel comfortable. Freaky close, yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the point of frangible. Yep. We walk well, up yeah. and see how yeah. it did. It did great. So compare on this live video again. We're live. Uh, the P365 from Six Hour, and uh, it looks like you've got the shield. Let in me your drop hand. the slides here. Yeah. All right. So this is a shield. This 2.0. is 2.0. Shield 2.0. Yes. And this is the 9 millimeter, okay? And here is the P365. Well, this has, they're both the flush fit mags. Now, this flush fit mag is a 10 round, and I believe, what's this, a 7? Is that right? Yeah, 7 on the shield. Okay. So, kind of hold them this way for you. The shield's a little bit longer. 365, this is our shield. And really, honestly, as far as a carry gun goes, length on your slide is not going to make a big difference in comfort of carry. Unless it, you're an appendix carry guy. Appendix carry guy says and, the guy and, who doesn't <laughs> carry appendix. <laughs> yes, yes. That makes a big difference if you're appendix carry. Okay, well, good point. Valid point. Um, is it, let's see. Now I find the grip makes a difference. Yes. Let's see. I'm trying to <laughs> show you. There's this. there's no real good way to go. kind of point it to the camera. So I'm just going to put it out there. So um, this is the shield. It's a little bit longer. Now there are pros and cons but, to this. You go well. Smaller's better. Well, smaller's going to be harder to sh- shoot. Right. Um, bigger's going to be easier to shoot. And if you look at the, I mean, you can't really tell the detail and the grip stippling on both these. But I think this is a growing trend. In the carry market, is this a really a- aggressive texturing yeah. of the grips and and both I of like the it. I, I I love it. I mean, in wet conditions, anything like that, you're going to get a really solid positive grip, even if it is a small handgun. All right, now I have the XDS. Now this is 
not really an apples to apples. This XDS is a 45, so it's one of the originals they brought out, that 3.3 and 45 ACP. Right. So the grip is going to be a little bit different shape and little size. Bit. I mean, we're talking about different calibers, but um, I took the mag out because there was I, ammo. I, I, honestly do, I honestly do forget that you carry a 45, and, but it's this, I mean, you still have kind of the same profile. So, very similar. Um, XDS may be a little bit longer. Now, something that the 365 does not have right. would be interchangeable back straps. That's yep. been a popular feature yep. on a lot of guns now. But I imagine as the smaller you go, the harder it would be to include something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And maybe, I mean, it's gonna maybe be less necessary. Smaller. I mean, that's what it's going to be. It's just going to be, you know. So, so. Um, yep, again, the, the XDS... A little, the slide's a little bit longer. I mean, I know you guys can look up the specs and do the comparisons Absolutely. here, but... Um, How are we looking on comments on Facebook? Because I know we've gotten quite a few uh, coming in here. Uh, well, you know, we've um, one person asked, um, is the 365 a good pocket gun? Uh, could yeah. be. It's kind of borderline. To me, it would be borderline. It depends on the pockets. I always I always get nervous carrying the pocket. Of you know, course, I mean, you got to still use a holster. Absolutely. You have to cover up this trigger guard. Um, you have your chapstick going in there, and then bang! Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> that ends the day pretty quickly. You don't want to pull a, uh, who was the Giants football player guy? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Cromarty? No, no, it wasn't. Uh, don't, it was don't bring the receiver. It was, it was the receiver that made the great catch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chime in back there if you just know the Just chime answer. in. If you know it, just give it to us. Plaxico Burris. Plaxico. There we Don't go. Don't want to okay. pull a Plaxico. We, yeah, I thought you were heading to Google to look it up. No. Uh, but again, again, we're talking live here. We're talking the six-hour P365 compared to some other models. If you want to chime in, hit us up. All right, hold on a second. I want a PC carbine. Okay. That's the next thing we need to talk right. about. I'm, so we have footage. We went out and shot it. We went out and shot uh, the Ruger PC carbine. Loved it. Okay. Um, there's a lot of great features in it. We're going to transition from the P365 now. We're going to move over to the PC carbine. Um, what were your initial reactions? Because because you brought out a, a suppressor. I mean, yeah. and it's a half-inch 28 thread on it. Yep. So it's pretty standard stuff. You're going to get a lot of suppressors that are going to fit fit on there really good. Uh, so what were your initial thoughts? Because I know what it, it was on my end, but I want to get your initial thought. Um, well, when I first heard that they were bringing this out, I heard about this probably, what, a month or two ago we heard about this. Yes. And was really pumped, and we wanted to let people know, and we couldn't. Right. Um, but th what I said about this gun, once I really got out there and started playing with it, is, number one, if it was just a 9mm carbine, it would have been cool. It would have been cool still. And then they made it a takedown. You're like, right. oh, even cooler. And then they put a thread barrel there on you it. There you go. You're like, That's oh, even it is. cooler. <laughs> and then there was like, oh, uh, adjustable uh, length of pull. Adjustable in the stock. length of pull. They've got You're like, uh, cool. Added nice little added feature. Adjustable ghost sights. And, and then it'll take the Ruger mags, but it also take Glock mags. Even cooler. So. But then we actually like, like, okay, all right, settle down, settle down. Yeah. Let's shoot. Yeah, it. Let's shoot it and see how <laughs> it performs. And I mean. It stuck, performed great. It yeah, really we, did. We stuck a red dot on it, a little aim point on it. Yep. Um, put the can on it. And you and pretty much claimed it as your own at that point. Yeah, it's done. It's I mean, <laughs> it's it's back in your closet. You're done with it. But no, I thought it was really cool. And that one of the great things about it too was that they fluted the barrel. Um, yeah, a little bit did. of weight savings, and it's gonna it's gonna weigh a little bit more than a 1022 regular. Um, and the, I thought the trigger Obviously, was yeah. a lot better than a 1022's trigger. It was uh, um, so that's what I'm saying. Like I thought even it was. if it was simply a nine millimeter carbine, you're going, that's pretty cool. Uh, right. But it had all these other things right. to it, um, which I like that they did that and they didn't just say, well, let's bring it out. They kind of probably could have brought it out six months ago. Right. And then we'll make some improvements. But let's yeah. let's wait and let's bring it out when it's bring it out really right. cool. Um, yeah. And I think they were producing the original carbines 1996 to 2006 somewhere right around in there i'm not sure and well, they had the 44 special right. 44 and so Mag. one of the cool things added just is that takedown feature um and i think that's one of the big things about it is man you can carry this in your truck you can carry this in the backpack you know if you're heading on a backcountry hunt 
and you just want to have something good for planking and anything else mm -hmm. you want to do in the backcountry, this is a great option for you because you're going to be able to save some space by taking it down, and it puts together super easy. I think we, we've got video of that. It, it sh it's just a simple, you know, you uh, the um, – the nut, the barrel nut on it. You just release that push button, twist, and it's oh, done. It's, it's very easy to take apart. It's Lo basically that same mechanism as the takedown that you so have. So one of the cool features that you actually skipped over was the bolt. You can switch it. Oh yeah, I did uh, that. Yeah. Because I shoot from the left side on long guns. And, and you never get a gun. You can that switch you can uh, the, the 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 handle. Yeah, the bolt the charging handle. handle or whatever you'd call it uh, for that. Um, so that was that was another like yeah. easy little thing that was cool about it so one of the things about that gun is nine millimeter ammo right now you know, there's a lot of quality ammo right. out there and depending on what you want to do with that gun you could you could do a lot of things because you can change ammo out you say right. okay i want it to be just a range gun or i want it to be a defensive gun or i want it to be a hunting gun with the appropriate ammo maybe with some hard cast nine millimeter bullets um you know you could go Instead of plinking steel, you could plinking hogs or oh, yeah, coyotes absolutely. or oh, it'd something be like fun. that. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a great idea is to take it coyote hunting. Because yeah. that would be a great gun because they're coming in close anyway. You could stretch that out to 100 yards if you yeah, want I'm to. Yeah, I'm sure you I could. I mean, easily. Yeah, you put, you put a little optic so. on it, a little magnified optic. So we're going to transition a little bit. If you've got comments, keep them coming in. We're live. We're talking uh, the Sig Sauer P365. We're also talking the Ruger PC carbine. Really cool carbine from uh, the folks at Ruger. And the people at Ruger are pumping out some stuff. And of yeah. course, we're just a week away from the industry's biggest show, SHOT Show 2018. And the Gun Talk crew is actually going to be hosting these live events daily. Um, we're so we're going to be right outside the main gates, yes. the main entrance of SHOT Show and we've got, in our booth. We've got folks coming through our booth daily. Uh, we're going to run you know, roughly four to five, you know, live feeds a day featuring new products. Uh, we're going to give you a live show update in the morning and in the evening. Uh, so, you know, go on to our YouTubes, go on to our Facebooks, uh, click those bells, subscribe. But this is a big time for the uh, Gun Talk Nation. We're, yeah, we're and there's a making lot, a big push. And Yeah, and there's a lot of new products coming out. Um, but if you're going to be going to SHOT Show, def definitely stop by and, and wave at us and say hello. Um, if we're in the middle of doing this, maybe don't, you know, yeah, come don't, up like don't, right don't here come behind and start us talking. And, and start chatting <laughs> us up. But, but we'd love to talk to you guys. Uh, we'd love to get those questions. You know, uh, don't forget to also subscribe to the newsletter we've got coming out. Yeah. Uh, that we've got going out. A lot of good stuff coming out on, in that. Uh, twice a, a lot week. Of, a lot of giveaways coming up. We've got a big giveaway happening. If you listen to Gun Talk Radio. Listen in. <laughs> tune I mean, in. Big prizes. Ser <laughs> seriously. We're talking big. a SIG range day. S like SIG's Sig covering the bill. Yeah, fly you, you go out. To, yes. Fly you out to New Hampshire to the SIG Academy. Um, give you ammo to shoot the class. Yeah. Um, it's a big time giveaway. Two, two day class, I think, or whatever yep. it is. So um, check it out. Look at guntalk.com slash win. Um, listen to Gun Talk Radio. Um, this week will be amazing, but the following week is when we're going to be actually at the SIG Range Day. Yes. And we'll have a bunch of giveaways going on. So you have to call in to win. And just a teaser. We've got some more questions coming in, and I'll get back to those right after this. Uh, but we are live. Uh, but Ruger has a big announcement coming up that's yes, going to be announced. Do. Gun Talk Radio. Oh, this, this Sunday. Sunday. That's right. We're going to have some Ruger representatives on. This is a brand new it, thing for Ruger. <laughs> it's um, it's a big announcement, and it's not a gun. So that's all uh, I can say. You can't. Can I, I, I got to stop you because I know <laughs> you'll want to go a little bit more in depth on that, but I can't let it's you. It's a big. It's a big but, deal. But um, we have a couple more that we're going to get to. Uh, we've got uh, Josh. He's he asked, "Would you personally carry the P365?" Yeah. I would. I, I would. mean, I, I, I haven't. I've shot like you know, fifty rounds through it or right. whatever. But um, I want to spend a little bit more time with it. We'll mm -hmm. actually get to just spend some time with it uh, out at Six Hours Range Day. Uh, we'll have some of the guys on talking about it uh, from Sig. But you know, with with any carry gun, you've got to spend time with it. You've got to shoot it. You've got. You know, I'd like to take it through a class. I, I really would. What's What's going to be fun because this gun is a hot, is a hot gun. Is now you're going to see a lot of accessory makers coming out with stuff so yeah there i think there are a couple holster makers right now um but um 
There'll be more holster. Right. And also sights. I know it comes with night sights, and a lot of people like night sights. Um, it depends well, for me, you know. I but you know we'll see what else comes out sight wise with this. Um, you know what? The trigger on this is already actually I like the trigger on this. I, gun. D- I do too. You know what? I'm actually excited to see Sig come out with. Uh, you know, it has a Sig proprietary rail up front, and I'm excited to see what they come up with. Um, yeah. All from their optics division because that's going to be a big thing. Is you know what they're going to like recommend with this, what they're going to put that fits this gun because uh, I know a lot of guys love their lights and lasers and what they're going to come out with this I bet some special yeah they've been they've been on a roll with the, I mean I will say they're doing a lot of things um, ammo Sig is doing a yep. lot of ammo they're doing Absolutely. optics they're doing air guns they're doing silencers but honestly the stuff that we're seeing coming out of Sig that's not guns right. is it's all nice stuff it's that's good great. stuff in fact yeah. it was a story um, just this week on gun talk radio we had a caller call in about his sig optic yep. and he said he had bumped uh, one of something like the battery compartment in one of the classes he was taking against a barricade and he was his he was ba- his yeah. bad he knocked it off yep. but he sent it to sig and they like fixed it no problem yep. took care of it warrantied it no big deal but, but we hear those stories all the time. I mean, w- whether you're talking about Springfield Armory or Ruger, you know, those customer services that, you know, a lot of times guys will drag their feet sending their guns in because they're like, I don't know if they'll cover it. Man, reach out to them. They're, they're yeah. usually really good about listening to their customers and taking care of their customers because they stand behind the product. Um, uh, oh. We had Rick Rick here on Facebook asks, um, would like for us to check out the Ruger Precision 22 LR. We did. <laughs> we didn't. We weren't going to cover it in this video. I'll not, give you not today. I'll give you a little. We're, but tune in. I believe next week. Yes, next we're week. Gonna, we're going to have some video for you, and we'll talk it up. But I'll I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> uh, another one, the Ruger Security Nine. Someone's asking about that already. Yeah. So yes. That'll be a next week deal. We've got range day uh, report coming from that one. But you guys keep tuning in. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, Check us out. Next week we're going to start running live. And then SHOT Show, we're going to go live uh, on a daily basis. So keep tuning in. We'll bring you all the latest stuff.